Hi guys, it's Humphrey the Hamster and today is going to be a bit of a crazy video, very random. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a hamster and I don't know what came over me. I don't really know. What things you're going to need are, I need to add them up to that, a sharpie, uh, a pencil, I'm using the HB, but any will do. Some scissors are optional to cut it out to stick it anywhere. Um, something to colour with. I'm using this pastel, which is like a browny, orangey type colour, and a rubber, just like that. Um, and this is this drawing is done by now drawing uh, drawing now tutorials. Yeah. Um, and it might be a bit hard because in his he doesn't really talk. It's just like steps on a computer. Step one, step two, step three, and it's quite hard to understand. No offense or anything. I love, I love it all the same. That's why I'm doing it because I love that video so much and I love the finished product, even though mine isn't as good. Um, so the first thing you want to do is get your pencil and draw a circle, which I've already done. I'm just to make sure it's squeaky perfect. I've done like a little outline, rubbed it out so I can go over it and show you guys. So the first thing you want to do is draw your circle. Oh no, isn't it? Doesn't shut off. <sighs> doesn't need to be perfect because you can perfect it when you go over it with the sharpie pen. And then once you've done that, you want to draw another two circles for the eyes. Add in a little circle inside it for light patches. So then once you've done that, you can get, um, like you can need to go from here and draw like a part a circle, just like that. And then to this, and in his video he does it a different way, but go and check that out because I don't know if my way or his way is better. Um, do like a curvy V, it's almost like a U. And then finish off with like a kind of cone chip. And then go down and go from the side. From the side. Along. And then finish this off with like that. And then go from the side where you did hit here. And go along. Just underneath. Like that. And then now we can get our rubber. <clears throat> My voice just went really croaky. And rub out the excess lines. Just like that. And if you lose some of the head, just draw it back in. Go over this if you lose some of that as well. Which I most commonly always do. Because my ribbons are massive. It's quite hard not to. Then once you've got that, just like that. This line isn't supposed to be here, but you won't notice it once you've got your marker pen in. You can draw your ears on, and you do this by glowing out, slight point, and then the other side, out, slight point, and then do that on the other side. Just like that. And then with this one, you need to go part way down, and just go out a little bit to make it look more realistic and 3D. And you can still see that line. I find it so annoying. But I'll finish that. Um. So next you want to go as if your hamster's got a bum chin. Like a double chin, sorry. You want to go a little bit down from the ear. Put a mark there. And you want to go from the other ear down. And the way I've put this U, little U here. Go down to there. Put a little mark. And what you're going to do is you're going to do like a part of a circle round to it and a bit bigger than that though like that that's good and then rub out if you make a mistake which i i really do make mistakes <sighs> too often this is the fifth time i've recorded this <sighs> video because <sighs> sometimes it's gone off some of the time it was a flat. I realised that halfway through. 
and sorry that I said go below this U because I was lying. You need to go just after this U and go along to about here. There we go. Actually, I might leave that line in. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. And um, there we go with that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put some feet on. So for the back leg, you just go down and then back round like that. And when you come along, um, you're going to go from here in over, straight line, and then back over. And then I'm really bad at putting feet on the end, but you just have a little foot with some claws on. And then for the back, this, the final foot, you just go down, straight line, and then back, and then do another little kind of foot with claws on. Um, so then we can start, add, um, you do a little line here for some reason. It adds effect in some way or another. So once you've done this, we can start going over it with our Sharpie pen. And the only line you don't go over is the one I just added right there. So, ears. And if you want to add other little details in, like hair or something, just go ahead and do that. Just like that, and then along here, just like that, just like that, just like that, and then do your little foot, and be careful when you're doing the claws, um, just like that, but then you can add in like little burr patches or light patches or something like that, I don't know, just explore with it. And then we go over this bit, just like that, and then we go over the eyes and colour them in obviously. Just like that, um, and there's that. I think in his he doesn't add a little foot on the back one, but I'm going to. So it looks a little bit odd. Um, so now we've got that, we can start colouring it in, and you can colour it in with whatever you feel like you want to. Was, yeah, I told you I'm using my pastels, and colour it in however you like. Don't you know? I'm not saying you have to do this brown colour. Do purple for heaven's sake. Do. A pink hamster. I mean, explore. Um. So, do I'm gonna do a little swirl here. Do it really dark, and then smudge it outwards like this to make it lighter everywhere else. Like that. And you could make a long head to be a hamster by going out like this, just everywhere. Um. Just like that, just like that, just like that. Uh, everywhere on its face. Um, and then just smudge this out. I, I think pastels are a really good thing to use. I love pastels. I love a lot anything that smudges. I love lots of things that you can colour with that smudge. So there's one idea. Um, <laughs> looks like it needs its hair chopping or something. Wow. Um, I don't know. Um, colouring the nose pink. Uh, I don't really have a pink on me. Um, but yeah, I would recommend colouring in the nose pink. Um, colour the face in. Just explore with how you're colouring. So again, I will leave drawing now tutorials in the down bar. I hope you like this video. I know mine doesn't look as good as his. It's really sad. Um, but I'm gonna um pick up on it. I think. I think I'm gonna try and get better. Definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get better. That's my aim.
so then you, you can cut it out if you want to and stick it on a page of glue or just don't like this but I think his and is a really nice drawing so yeah that's it really guys thanks please comment rate subscribe and request bye guys